guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video um, it's kind of like a mixture of things I have the Jaclyn Hill palette that just came in the mail actually like I just opened it so I don't want to do a tutorial on this um, and also I just want to get back on camera it's been so long since I've been back on YouTube um, I think it's been about two months now um, so really quick I am gonna fill you guys in um, as you can see I'm in a completely different location uh, it's kind of echoey in here because there's nothing in this room but I'm hoping soon I can get like some inspo and like kind of like revamp this room into like my beauty room and Blake's gonna have a desk over there but it's gonna be a beauty room so um, yeah I moved Blake and I have a brand new place we are currently living together and just loving every second of it but it has been like an adjustment so I haven't been filming in so long I kind of feel like out of the loop like I don't even know how to do this anymore but yeah so I'm gonna go through and just do a tutorial on this palette I'm so excited and if you want to see how I create that look then please keep watching okay so to start off that look today I'm gonna be using the confidence in a cream it cosmetics moisturizer um, I'm gonna be rubbing that all over my face so okay hold on what am I doing? Okay, hold on. Let's figure out what we're gonna do. Eyes. Okay. So to prep my eyes, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I really need to do my eyebrows, so just letting you guys know ahead of time. I feel like I don't even know what to do. Isn't that weird? I feel like it's kind of weird. Like, I haven't been on YouTube in so long. It was kind of like one of those things where I felt like I kind it's not like I didn't want to do it, but every time I was like, oh I'm gonna film, I'm like, but I have to do this and then I never ended up filming and I wondered you know what it is that has felt so off my life and I genuinely feel like it's not filming it's crazy right like how you start doing things I don't break my ring light already how you start doing things and it's kind of just becomes like a routine you know I always said from day one this was like one of those things that just made me genuinely happy and then not doing it I was like why do I just feel strange like what is like something's not right and it was because I was not filming. So I'm back and I'm ready. And I get to do a really cool palette, so I'm really excited. So, okay, this palette, I kind of feel like I'm doing it wrong. I should have done like a review, swatch, whole shindig, but I don't really care. So this is what the palette looks like. So many beautiful colors. And she says in here that she dedicates this palette to all of her subscribers. Um, of course, there's a lot of warm tones in this palette, and kind of like those like pinky peach colors. That is the look I'm going for today. So, actually, quick note though, I've seen a lot of people post this palette online, and I thought it was supposed to come with like a sheet full of the names of the shadows. So, kind of weird because mine doesn't. But I'm picking up this shade right here, and I'm taking a Sigma E40 brush and just blending that in my crease. So far, so good. So, reminds me of like Cream Brulee from Makeup Geek, if you guys know what that one is. Oh, yeah, super pigmented for sure. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking this shade right here. The one right next to it kind of looks like Chickadee from Makeup Peak. But this one is more of like a terracotta orange color. It's a little bit more orange. Oh yeah. I'm like, I feel like I'm like the only person that uses the same brush for every single, <laughs> every single thing. But unless you're using like a really dark shade and then you want to go to a lighter one, I would have to change my brush. But if you're doing that gradient effect, you should be fine. Okay, so next I'm gonna go through, this is a ColourPop little blending brush and I'm gonna use this shade right here. I don't know why it really bothers me, I didn't get the one with the color, or with the names of the colors. Like, you know, I'm usually expecting it, I'm like, okay. So I am just packing and kind of swiping this into my crease. Um, it doesn't have to be too precise, I'm just gonna be blending it out anyways, but I want to make sure it's focused on the outer corner. I cannot wait to see all the different looks that people create with this palette. Wow, that is so pigmented. Holy cannoli. Okay, perfect. So, I'm going to do the lid. And for that shade, I don't know what I want to use. I think I might do this one. 
it reminds me of Anarchy from um, Makeup Geek, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So I'm gonna try it without Fix Plus and see how it looks. I'm pulling beer up, sorry. <sighs> you guys, I need to zoom you in so you can see this. Okay, so this is no Fix Plus, no spray. Like, are you joking? So I'm gonna add <laughs> a little bit just cause I'm high maintenance. But let's see. Oh yeah. This is stunning. So I'm just gonna go back through with that crease shade, the original one, and blend that out. So there's no harsh lines. Is the Brow Beater Micro Fi? I can't even say it. Micro Fine Brow Brush and Pencil, and this is in the shade Warm Brown, which I actually generally wouldn't do. I usually do a really um, ashy color, but for some reason, this looks really good. I don't know why. Okay, so now that brows are done, I'm gonna be priming my face with the Stila Aqua Glow Perfecting Base. So this is really refreshing and hydrating for your face. It actually has like a cooling effect as well. I only want to put a little bit in the center of my face. So, and then next I'm going to be using for foundation the Tarte Rainforest of the C. This is the second time I'm using this. It has a dropper, but I only have a sample of it, like a small sample. So, I don't have the full thing yet, sorry guys. I just loved the way it felt, like how it wore throughout the night. And it is water-based, so it's going to be a little bit less coverage, but you can build it. I'm going to be using the Sephora Pro Coverage Airbrush, number 53. I love this brush. Um, one of my old co-workers, Emily, at Sephora, she always used this for our makeovers, and I was obsessed. So I bought it, and I do not regret it. Kind of feel like you're painting, like you're literally like paint strokes. And lately, I haven't been putting foundation around my eyes because I feel like it's building up too much product, so I'll just put concealer. Because um, I just, I don't know, I just think it's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna go through with the Superstay Better Skin by Maybelline. I have used this a couple times now, and I actually, I'm starting to like it a little bit more than I did ori originally. Originally, um, I didn't really like it to be honest, maybe because I like it a little bit more full coverage, and this isn't but I am starting to warm up to it. So next I'm gonna be taking the, um, what's it called? Real Technique sponge, and I'm just gonna be packing that in the skin. You know the drill. It definitely does give you a nice brightening effect, though I will give it that. And for the price point, I think it was like $6, $7. I mean, how do you complain about that? I'm going to, um, dust a little bit of the, not dust it, but kind of pack in the Rimmel Stay Matte. You guys know it's like one of my favorites, or if you're new to my channel, then you don't know, but it is one of my favorites. And I'm going to take this Morphe E53 brush and just pack that underneath my eye and all over, especially on the side of my face, because it's generally where you set your hand the most, and that's where your makeup seems to fall. I can't wait to do more looks with this palette. I'm going to use the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer. It looks like this. And very comparable to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting, only not as pigmented, I would say. For my highlight, I am going to use the Sun Dipped Glow Kit because and a good one. I'm gonna use the shade Summer because it's summer and why not? I'm just taking my Morphe M501 brush and placing that along the cheekbone. I found recently if I start off with smaller amounts like on my cheek and I don't just like swipe it the first swipe it actually looks a lot better so I just slowly go through. Oh my dear lord look at that. Like, that's no fix for us, you guys. That's nothing.
All I have left are lips and then my eyeliner and eye mascara and lashes or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna do lips first though. So I'm gonna be going through with the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural. And then I'm gonna fill that in with MAC in the shade, MAC, just MAC. MAC Satin Lipstick in the shade Faux, Faux. I love this combo. But I feel like I want a little bit more gloss, so I'm just gonna go through the clear Sephora, like regular gloss, just like an old one. As you can see, I only use it when I have lipstick on. Oh yeah, that's better. As long as you just like want a little bit of like a glossy lip. And that's good sometimes, but yeah, I like that. Let me do my eyeliner really quick and then we'll do lashes. All right. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna be using one of my new favorites. I don't know how I just found these lashes. They are the um, Ardell Faux Mink ones in the shade 812. Okay, so once I take them on, I can show you guys how gorgeous they are. And actually, I don't know if they're still having it, but Meyer was actually having a sale and they were half off. <gasps> I think they're so stunning. Okay. Hey guys, here is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed a look. Really enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you learned anything. You probably didn't learn anything. This was not a very good tutorial. It's just me just talking. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so happy to be back again on YouTube and to finally start like putting more content out there. So yeah, if you guys can leave me some suggestions of videos or what you could do is leave me suggestions about what to do with this room because I have, again, no idea. I've been searching on Etsy all day to find different ideas of what to do with this. So leave me some suggestions below or comment on my Instagram, Makeup by Ariella. Um, I can leave that down below as well in the description box. Um, I would love some feedback and I miss you guys. I'm so happy to be back and I'll see you. I keep saying and. Great. Okay, so I will see you next time. Bye.